Okay, in this video, we're going to cover multitasking and the web browser on the HP touchpad running WebOS. So let's unlock this device here and get to it. Now, one of the things that makes this tablet stand out is its multitasking abilities. It makes it stand out head and shoulders above the iPad and Honeycomb tablets because you can open up apps and have them running constantly in the background and you can open up a multitude of them. And it makes this tablet experience much more rich and it makes it much closer to an actual laptop or desktop. Now when I say that I don't necessarily mean the paradigm is the same. Obviously this paradigm is, is very touch-based. What I mean by that is that you can get a lot done. You don't have to go into an app and then get out of an app and then go back into another one. It's all more, uh, you know, as the name suggests, multitasking. You can do a lot at the same time. And that is one of the main reasons I really like this device. Also, the web browser on it is a pretty nice web browser. So to start this up, why don't we start up with the web browser because we're actually going to use it with the multitasking as well. And I just wanted to cover the web browser a little bit, so I'm bringing up one here. And the first thing you'll notice is that the bar up here, there's only one bar. Like on the iPad, you have an address bar and then a search bar. On Honeycomb or on Android devices, you have just the one bar. So this is much more like an Android device in that you can type an address up here or you can just type a search term in there. So if you wanted to, you could look up YouTube and click enter and you don't have to put in www.youtube.com although it probably would have been quicker in this case to do that but I'm just showing it for demonstration purposes here and it just brings it right up there. I like that a lot because having a separate field for search and an address bar is kind of it's kind of archaic in my in my mind. It should have gone away a couple of years ago, and that's something that they should definitely update on Safari on the Apple iPad and Safari for the desktop in general. So I did the Google search here and we're going to go to YouTube, the basic page here, because I'm going to use that in the multitasking in a second. But I do just want to go over a couple of things about the browser itself. Over here you have your regular back button, your forward button here. You have your entry area here where you can put in your address or your search. Now this icon over here, it's sort of a box with an arrow coming out of it. I'll click on that. It allows you to add a bookmark, share the link, or add to launcher. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go to my video page here and it should bring up all my videos that I have loaded up on my YouTube page and I have 164 of them prior to actually putting this video up and what I want to do if I ever want to come back here what I can do is I can add this to my launcher. So I'm going to hit that icon again and I'm going to hit add to launcher. And it shows here this is what the representation I'll get. I have a little like YouTube icon there. It says YouTube broadcast yourself and then it's the the uh, web address there. I'm going to add that to my launcher. You have a choice of adding it or canceling out if you don't want to add it to it. But I'm going to add it to my launcher and it adds it to the launcher. Now let me click the center button here and just minimize this for a second and show you what that did. I'll go over here to my launcher and I'm gonna swipe over to favorites. Now I already have my Engadget favorite here but now I have my YouTube page here as a favorite so I can just click on that and it will bring up the same page that I just put on the launcher there. So it's a cool feature to actually put bookmarks onto your desktop and I like that. Now the next icon over here is an icon that allows you to add another browser window. So if you click on it, it'll add another browser window. And what it does is it automatically stacks them. So this browser window, which is a blank one, stacked on top of the one that I just used. So it's almost as if you have tabbed browsing. There is not tabbed browsing on this device but this is the closest thing to it so all you would have to do is go here and then type in whatever you'd want let's put in Engadget and click on that 
and it'll bring up the site here. So I can switch between the two there, okay? And all the multitasking is being done in the background. So while this page is loading up, I could go do something else if I wanted to. So let's go back to the original page I had here and just finish off the features of the browser. The, the last button over here allows you to bookmark a page. So these are the bookmarks that are already on the page. Now there's two ways. Obviously I just showed you how to add a uh, shortcut to your launcher. That's a, that's a way that you could actually jump to a page. Or you can actually add a physical bookmark on here where you add it to the list here. Right now these are the three that come with it. Yahoo, Google, and Touchpad support. If I added more they'd be on the list down here. The next icon over here within this submenu here is a clock menu and it basically shows you your history, your web browsing history if you click on that. And the last icon over here is your downloads. So right now I didn't have I don't have any downloads, but that would show you all the downloads that you have and you can clear it out at the bottom here if you'd like. Now this is actually one of those panes that I showed you previously in one of my videos where you can actually minimize it physically or bring it back. Okay? Now the only other thing in the web browser is up here, your little icon that says web. Click on it and you have your preferences, you can print or you have help. Now print is very interesting. When I first saw this device at Best Buy, I went to a website and I went up here and I hit print. And it brought up all of the HP printers in the store. And I thought why not try out and see if it can print. So I picked one of them and it actually printed. It turned the device on and it printed it, which I thought was really cool. The only thing is, is that it only works with HP printers that I know of because I can't get it to work with my Kodak printer. That's unfortunate, but uh, I really like that feature and it makes me think of maybe getting another HP printer because they make great printers. But that's the web browser on this device. Now let's get back to multitasking. So far I have three windows open. Okay. If I wanted to, I could play a video in one of them, and I'm going to start that up right now. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start up the video, and then I'm going to turn the volume down because I don't want to talk over myself. But I'm going to pick my first video here, or my latest video, which is the HP Touchpad Keyboard Just Type Pointer and Camera. I'm going to click on that, and it's going to bring it up, and it'll start playing the video here. And as you can see, the device has flash, just like pretty much every other tablet on the market, except for the Apple iPad. Now, as you can hear, let me turn it up for a second. You can hear it's playing, the video is moving, as you'd okay, expect. In this video, we're going to cover... And let me turn it all the way down, almost all the way down. And go back to the multitasking, so I press the center button. And just in case you didn't see one of my previous videos, you can actually swipe up down here. It's a gesture, and that also accomplishes the same thing as pressing the center button here. So if I just push it up, it brings it to a card view. Okay. So as you can see, the video is still moving in the card view here, which is very cool, and it's still playing. Okay. Let me turn it back down. Now I have this, these other cards open. I'm going to open up several other ones. Okay. Let's see. Let's go to my downloads. Let's open up um, my Arnold Schwarzenegger soundboard here. Okay. So you can hear my video still playing while this card is open. The, the keys are spaced nicely. So are the other and that's devices. the, the uh, soundboard going on there. So as you can see, the multitasking on this device is just like you would have on a desktop, on a laptop. The only difference is, is that you have your touch paradigm here. So I have three things open. As you can see, the video is still moving there, which is so cool. Now I can stack these things if I wanted to. As you can see here, this is a stack here. And most likely you want to stack things that are related. In this video, for this demonstration purposes, I'm just going to stack things randomly just so you can see how it's done. I did show you this in one of my previous videos, but this is going to focus on multitasking, so I might as well show it to you here. 
I can take my soundboard here, select it, long press it, and bring it over here and put it in the stack. Now I can put it in the back, I could put it in the middle, or I could put it in the front. So I now have a stack of three things, and like I said, generally you'd want to see that they are related tasks. Now I switch back here, video is still playing, and still moving. Very, very cool. Now let me open up something else. Uh, let me open up Translator. Another app pops up. Minimize that. Let's open up another one. Um, Solitaire. Another app opens up. So I have several things open and the video is still playing and still moving. But it also so this is true multitasking and it really takes the tablet out of its, I don't know, out of its toy stage or infancy stage and it makes it a productivity tool. You can actually get a lot done and you don't have to keep switching in and switching out and worrying about the app pausing or not. It's all right here. You can switch to any of these tasks. You can go play solitaire if you want while you're listening to something. I listen to the Linux Action Show, and you don't necessarily always have to watch that, but they have a YouTube page, and if you're interested, it's Jupiter Broadcasting. But you can, I could listen to that podcast while I'm doing other things, while I'm surfing the internet, while I'm playing a game, while I'm getting stuff done. So it's a very cool aspect to this tablet, and really something you should consider if you're looking into tablets. This device does have its shortcomings, but the things that it's strong in are so overwhelmingly positive that I think it's something you definitely should consider if you're interested in buying a tablet. I'm going to cover a lot of that in my next video, which is going to be a full review on the device itself. But this multitasking thing is is really something to consider. Like I said before, you can use this device and not be hampered by it. You don't feel like you're handcuffed. You don't feel like you're using something that's gimped. You don't feel like you're using something that's less than a laptop, that's less than a desktop. It really has a lot of power to it, and I can't stress that enough. This multitasking is something that's, that's incredible as far as I'm concerned. And you can, as you can still see, the video is still playing and still going in the background. If you listen to songs off of YouTube, you can play them in the background while you're doing other things. Right now, one of my, my things I'm going on YouTube for is The Lonely Island. You probably have heard of them before. If you haven't, you should check them out on YouTube. Uh, very funny stuff, very cool songs. You can listen to whatever you want on YouTube while you're doing other things. The multitasking on this, like I said before, head and shoulders above anything else that's out there, anything else available, better than the iPad, better than Android. I know I sound like a broken record, but it's really powerful and really something you should consider. So that pretty much does it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. And I will see you next time when I review the HP touchpad with WebOS smaller size, that might be the one for you if you like WebOS.